Hello fellow Battle Brothers, Turtle here, showcasing another interesting Battle Brothers mod created by Taro Eld. Uh, this is the, um, I forget the actual name of it, it's a mod that creates a new cultist faction on the world map with their own camps, their own mobs, their own uh, legendary location, which we will be tackling today. Um, it's a very cool mod. Uh, Taro Eld also created the Necropolis mod, which I've also showcased on a different video. Um, and, and they're both great mods that uh, add some new spice to the game without really uh, uh, overstepping it too much, like some other mods that add new stuff may do. So if you're looking for something interesting to maybe spice up your next run, uh, take a look at this cultist mod. I will put a link to the Nexus page for it and the uh, a link to the Steam thread where a couple of us were documenting our progress if you want to read up on that. Um, so yeah, thanks to Taro Eld for creating this and uh, in this video we're going to be tackling this legendary location. If you don't want spoilers, obviously go play the mod yourself instead of watching this video. I'm gonna spoil it so I have not gone in here myself yet I don't know if there's any nasty surprises or tricks we shall see um, obviously I've fought the cultists plenty of times in this playthrough so I'm familiar with most of these enemies but I think there's a boss in here who might shake things up we'll see um, so yeah before we get into this I guess I'll show the team a little bit I know some folks are probably interested. Um, it's day 155. I have a very strong team. Could probably go roll over Monolith right now um, if I wanted to. But uh, I guess I'll just go over these bros real quick. So I have two super tanks on the edges, very similar, kind of standard. Um, uh, two hand axe guy. A Nimble Forge Hammer Guy, um, Adrenaline Mace Two Hand Guy. Backline we have Damage Focus Pull Arms on both sides. Uh, this guy is Nimble Forge. He also has Brawny, which is a complete wasted perk. But sometimes you change your mind on things and, and you have bad perks. You know it happens. Uh, this armor comes from the Necropolis mod, in case you're wondering where this is. It's very good armor. Uh, comes from that legendary location. Spoiler, too late, I guess. Um, have two, uh, what do I call this? Frontline duelist hybrids who are in the back line. Um, pretty versatile build. They can frontline, they can backline. I like bringing them against uh, chosen fights and I like bringing them against the cultists. Uh, so this guy you'll notice does not have crossbow mastery. That's a mistake for sure. Um, so he can shoot the gun once and then he can't do it anymore which uh, is a shame. Um, he also does not have steel brow. He's only wearing a necro hat because I need to have no vision penalties against cultists. You'll see why if you're not familiar with them already. And this was the only spare hat I had, so not ideal to go Necro Noble without Steel Brow, but whatever, I need no vision penalties, so it'll do. Um, then we have a crossbow thrower, pure range guy, kind of typical for that. And um, a debuff focused double gunner, uh, kind of a glass cannon. So we'll have to protect him. Banner, kind of, kind of normal. And then um, that's everybody. So the cultists uh, do add some new gear. So there are these uh, cultist hats that all give resolve penalties to both your bro and nearby enemies. So that's kind of interesting. I don't like really wearing these normally. Um, but it's important to note the cultists all have these, so all of your bros will get massive resolve penalties for uh, 
just standing near the cultists, so you, the resolve is more important with this mod enabled than uh, than a typical run, because um, this this is pretty taxing on your resolve when you're surrounded by dudes. Uh, this hat I have is a famed version of the cultist hood, which I got from a champion, so it does not have the resolve penalty to my bro, so it's actually just kind of insane. Um, great scores on uh, durability and, and fatigue, and then a 10 resolve penalty on enemies is kind of crazy. So that's cool. There's a uh, new bill hook that they have as well. This is a famed version. It's kind of completely insane. Um, do I have a regular one? Yeah, here's a regular one. So bill hooks are already really good, and so the cultist versions have more fatigue penalty, like a, like an orc weapon. But it doesn't really deter me from using it. I'll take the damage. There is a also a new cultist uh, pole hammer, which is also kind of completely insane. Regular pole hammer is already pretty strong. Um, I'm not feeling this guy, but this is another good weapon. And then there is the uh, the man catchers which I'm not using any right now, but um, they can basically throw nets onto people uh, for 28 fatigue. Uh, it's a pole arm. This benefits from pole arm mastery, um, and you can basically just net people repeatedly, which is pretty pretty good in some fights. So not using any here, but interesting new weapons. They, they do change up the... Uh, meta, I guess. I, I don't know. Makes makes polar units stronger for sure. Um, oh, there's a new uh, a new war scythe as well. Also very strong. Although in this case, the fatigue penalty is actually um, kind of cumbersome. And you can't very you can't reap you know a lot with this without running out of fatigue quickly. So, um, but yeah. So lots of new weapons. You know, that the mod introduces new new armor that generally I don't think is worth using, but uh, there are famed versions of it, so that's cool. And, um, you know, lots of interesting stuff going on here, and I've been talking long enough with preamble, so let's start getting into it. Uh, let's drink some drugs, for good measure. Why not? Um, do some Lionhearts on the tanks. Because even with 70 resolve, when you're surrounded by guys with debuff penal resolve debuff penalties, it uh, it's a problem. I guess that is fine. Maybe I should have put a lion heart on the banner, but whatever. Might have been better than the tanks. Too late. Uh, there's also this new necklace plus four resolve that the, the cultists drop. Um, which makes it really easy to get tons of uh, resolve trophies, but uh, you know I already have a bunch. Um, okay, that should be good. Let's uh, get into here. So, um, like I said, I've not gone in here before. It's kind of a blind run. Maybe I'll get wrecked. I'm pretty confident that I won't, but we'll see. Uh, looking at this composition, there are no man catchers here, which is surprising and I think it makes this a lot less dangerous than it could have been. Instead of man catchers we see many hunters of Davkul. I think the hunters are not are one of the weaker uh, weaker enemies. We'll, we'll talk about them when, we, when they show up. But no man catchers here is a, is a surprise. In some of the three skull cultist contracts you'll face 30 to 40 enemies and they're quite challenging and the man catchers are part of the reason they're challenging. So having, and hunters are generally rare in my experience with this mod, so having hunters here instead of man catchers is surprising and makes, might make this easier than some of the fights I've already done, but we'll see. We'll see what the boss does, because I think there's supposed to be a boss in here. Um, yeah, so I think, sorry I've been preambling for a long time, so hopefully I haven't bored anyone yet, and hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. Let's jump in here. Okay, um, I guess I could narrate this, maybe. 
Uh, as you approach the grand ritual site unseen, you feel an oppressive dark presence fill the air. You can see a plethora of figures clad in makeshift armor made out of ragged human skin. Um, the razor closes in with you and reports, I've heard of this person, supposedly a high priest of the cultists, a spiritual and earthly leader. Legends claim he is a personally endowed by their dark lord, Death Cool. Um, if I'm pronouncing Death Cool wrong, please don't hate me. Um, you can use his dark magic to amplify his sacrificial rituals. The ancient artifacts we got from the two lesser kin to this place should help to protect against the effects. Um, I don't remember getting ancient artifacts. I don't know what that's referring to. Um, I mean, I got some famed items from champions. I don't know if that was scripted. I, I assumed it was just random champion drops. I don't know if that's what it's talking about. I don't, I don't know if it's talking about the trophies. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. But, uh, sure. Apparently I did something. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's go in. Okay, 40 enemies. Kind of a lot, although it's what I was expecting, I guess. What is this? The brightness for a second is kind of dark for me. There's a totem on my high ground tile, that's annoying. So I am using the quicker mod as well. I'll have a link to that in the description also, which is why it looks like my dudes are bouncing up and down like crazy people. Um, I do recommend the quicker mod over the faster mod. The faster mod is notably buggy. The quicker mod has been quite good in my experience. Uh, okay, so generally against the cultists, I like to back up and find some high ground tiles. This obstruction here is really annoying though. I might go back to these. But then that would give their defilers these tiles and I don't want to do that. I could go down here maybe, it's kind of awkward. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Yeah. Oh, there are men catchers. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Alright, so this is actually scary now. The, <laughs> the intro battle tooltip lied to us. Uh, okay. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. Um, let me just think about my formation. I found the cultists to be harder than the base factions of the game. I don't know if that was Tarald's intention or if it just kind of turned out that way, but they are challenging for sure. Um, so keep that in mind if you're uh, if you're doing this. So let's think here. here. Let's tuck all the range units right there, maybe. Put the leaves no room for the banner though. Annoying. I guess. Yeah. Oh well. well. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Yep. Let's go there. Sorry for my pedantic um, preparation. Gunner on the high ground. Tuck all the range units in there. I'll talk about these units a little bit as we get into this. So the Prophet just rallied his dudes, um, one of their abilities. So kind of like Goblin Overseers, they can um, turn all their guys confident, which is not good for us. The Cultists in general have insanely high resolve. They're nearly impossible to break, even with mass fearsome usage. So we cannot just cheese this with uh, um, with fearsome. Did this start at forty and it now says forty two, or am I just completely insane? I 
could be completely insane. Would not be the first time. Yep, let's go there. So the guys charging us right now are regular uh, fanatics of Dev Cool. There are enlightened fanatics, some that we'll probably see some somewhere in this fight. Uh, the these guys are basically reavers. If you want to give an analog. They do have those Midas Resolve cultist hoods. Um, they do not have throwing weapons like Reavers do, but they're essentially Reavers, fr or footmen, or outlaws, you know, the basic uh, mass troop of the faction. Go here, here, here. Um, there. Here. I still really don't like this total. Uh, I guess... I guess I can use it sort of as a deterrent for them wrapping around. We'll see. Go there. And I might wrap these polearm guys around to help up top. It's kind of a waste of time moving them around like that. but. You gotta do what the train gives you sometimes. Let's go over there. So I have some room for the hammer guy to do some hammer things if they mass up in this location. So the, the idea with these um, fanatics will be to cleave them down as quickly as possible so I don't get mass surrounded too bad. The real danger from the cultists comes from the defilers, in which there's like a billion of them that we just saw, and now we can't see them anymore. Talk about them again when they get closer. We'll load our second gun. Um, yeah, defilers are the biggest threat though, which is why we're fielding a lot of crossbows and throwing, because it, I found it's the best solution against them, for me anyway. Um, so I'll just wait with these guys. Let everybody jump in here. Um, one of the dangers that the man catchers present is that it makes it kind of dangerous to put your tanks out forward. Generally speaking, it would be a good idea to maybe have your tanks sitting out a little bit ahead of everybody to, uh, to get more um, exposure and um, cover more ground, I guess. Uh, whatever you want to, whatever words you want to use for that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but with the man catchers, you're going to get, they're going to throw nets on your tank every turn, and your tank is going to have trouble freeing himself. And if he is freeing himself, he's not using indom and shield wall, so it's just bad news all around. Um, that's why the man catchers are particularly dangerous, because it doesn't matter how good your tank is, if he's in a net, he's going to get wrecked. So, um, I've got to keep the tanks somewhat tight so that other people can help them. Uh, the hunters, I alluded to, they're not very strong. I, I thought they had nimble. Maybe it got removed in an update. Uh, or I'm crazy again. Could have sworn they had nimble. Uh, so they, they're carrying a new a sling. It's, it's not the normal sling, it's a new sling created by the mod. You can only throw once per turn, but it, it deals more damage than the regular um, slings. So, in my experience, they can't hit it, hit the broadside of a barn, so I'm not very concerned about them. I might go here instead. So I think that's fine. Um, yeah, I guess I'll I'll stay like this. Stay like that, and we can hit this guy. 
You'll notice I'm going to be waiting a lot with everybody because I want to try to uh, avoid a nasty debuff by the um, Prophet, which we'll talk about when he does it because I'm sure he will at some point. Can uh, probably kill this guy or maybe use him for frenzy food. Yeah, let's just wait for now. So yeah, these defilers are the biggest threat. They have those crazy strong pull arms that I was showing off before. Um, they're kind of unique in that no other faction fields a heavy battle forge pull arm unit. The nobles have billmen, but billmen are made of tissue paper, so they're not really threatening. These guys have stronger weapons than billmen and a lot better health and armor, um, so they're significantly more threatening. They do not have polearm mastery though, that's their only weakness. It was removed in a in a patch, I think, to make the cultists a little bit less strong. So that's one thing we have going for us. Uh, they don't have polearm mastery, so... Okay, do I shoot the gun here, or do I save it so I can double gun next turn? I think maybe I shoot so that I can... Um, So that it next, because if I double gun next turn, I, I end the turn with an unloaded gun. Whereas if I shoot now, ne next turn I can shoot and reload. And I guess it, I'm not really losing a tempo by shooting now. It's going to be kind of the same either way. Or no, it's not going to be the same either way. But I, I think I gain a, I gain a tempo by shooting now rather. Um, sorry if I confused anyone with that statement. Trying to think about who to shoot here. Probably this. It's the only one that gets four guys. Yep. Cool. Okay, so crossbow needs to go for these defilers. It's, it doesn't matter which one so much. The pull hammer guys are, I think, the scariest. Or maybe the uh, war scythe guys. They're all scary. <laughs> They're all scary. Okay. So the cultists are kind of unique. As you can see, they have a lot of different things going on. A bit goblin-like, but the confidence and the and the man catchers throwing nets. But a bit uh, a bit undead-like because they have really high resolve. Um, bit, uh, I don't know, or orc or, or barb-like, because they'll, they'll just like overwhelm you with crazy amounts of dudes. Uh, let's see, what are we doing here? Shoot this guy. Not too bad we didn't get the injury there. I can only shoot his gun one time because he does not have crossbow mastery and I'm not going to spend a whole turn reloading it so I think I'm going to hold off on the gun until they pile in a little bit more just um, do some throwing stuff okay let's get the frenzy there That guy. As you can see, these these fanatics they go down pretty quick, but there's generally a lot of them. Actually, it doesn't seem like there's too many this time, and I don't see any enlightened guys. So this formation puts my banner in a kind of crummy spot here. So that's too bad. I don't have quick hands on this guy, so I'm just gonna lose a turn here since problem with not taking quick hands, you lose turns by not being able to do anything. I'm going to end on. Yep. Alright, 
Sorry that if I'm playing slow, but I actually have to think about this fight. <laughs> it's not a freebie. Uh, and um, hopefully that's not a problem. Okay, let's think here. I don't want to wait for them to pile in. He could get zoned, that is the risk, but he is capable of using melee as well. So I'm not, it's not the end of the world. I will just wait for now. Let them come closer. Yeah. So there's the uh, hunters doing futile stone throws. wrap around is expected but also a bit annoying okay it's good headhunter can we kill him with a four range throw I don't I don't think so I don't I don't think so but I'm willing to try yeah, not even close. Here's the resolve. So there's the debuff. So the um, we haven't seen any sacrifices yet because they're too far away, but there's a couple of sacrifices kind of inflating this enemy count, and they're completely worthless other than being used to as sacrifices to give debuffs on our guys. Um, so uh, they, they're, they're not uh, inconsequential enemies for, for the most part. But what they do is they get sacrificed and it gives our guys debuffs. Although for some reason it didn't hit the whole team like it usually does. So I'm not sure what that's about. It seems to have only hit Brock. Not really sure why, but I'll take it. So what it, what it does is you get this nasty blinded debuff which gives minus five vision and then minus skill and defense. So really nasty debuff. And it's why we need to have no vision penalty on our back line because uh, default vision is seven. If you get minus five vision, you'll have two with a, with a base hat and that can still let you attack two range. If you have any vision penalty on your hat, you're limited to one range and your back line essentially loses their turn. So very, very problematic if you have vision penalties on your back line. So this guy's a problem, and this guy's here, so I can't throw. I kind of want to wait, let the hammer guy get a shot at him first. So that's what I will do. And the banner can be useful. Some quick hand shenanigans. Very nice. That opens up these guys. Got one defiler down. So we need to make short work of these guys to free us up some space to actually go after the dangerous guys. As much as I'd like to ignore them, they are double gripping two-handers, or sorry, <laughs> two, tier two one-handers, which, while not the most threatening thing in the world, is still something I can't ignore. Okay, I guess the indom I did last turn was a waste of fatigue because nobody attacked me. This guy will almost certainly attack me. Not so because I'm blinded, I can't hit this guy for the frenzy, which is unfortunate. So we'll just bonk that guy. Wow, one shot. I was not expecting that. Well, unless he was hurt already, but I don't. I don't think he was. Okay, they're not attacking me. They're trying to wrap around, which is good and bad at the same time. Good because they're wasting their time, but bad because. 
I'll have to deal with them wrapping around at some point. Uh, let's see. I would like to taunt this guy, probably. Um, but I can wait for now. I could have done it differently, done a double shot this turn and then dropped a dog in the hole. That might have been actually pretty smart. I don't think these guys have Berserker Frenzy. I don't remember. I have Lost Bros to them, but I don't I don't remember. Um, wow, he <laughs> actually hit me. Uh, what was that hit chance? 12. <laughs> you see these? They're terrible. The hunters are terrible. I don't. I don't, uh, I don't know. It's it's kind of funny. I think their their slings are guaranteed to daze, though, from what I recall. Um, which is, I guess, the only annoying thing about it. But they can't hit you generally, so it's not normally a big concern. Okay, I guess I can use axes to finish off these guys. I'll free up some room for. To go after the defiler soon. Could adrenaline and go for them, but I don't. Uh, I don't really want to leave formation yet. I'm gonna have to though, because I have pole arms. So maybe I should. No, I'm gonna get in the way of my gun if I do. I'm trying to think of the gun cone. Is I think it's like like this. So I'd be safe to move up. But I don't. I want to maintain formation. So, so here's an example of me getting netted by the man catcher. Incredibly annoying. Uh, the one, I guess, bright spot to it is that if you damage the man catcher, the the uh, the net gets lost. I don't think that's a bug. I think that's working as intended. <laughs> or if it is a bug, it's uh, kind of a meaningful one. But I, I think it's somewhat logical. Like if we're supposed to believe this guy has me in his weird catch pole thingy and, and and then we chuck a javelin at his face he can't maintain control of his catch pole i don't know that's how i justify it anyway maybe it's a bug but i don't think so okay also you might have noticed there's unique music i don't know who who wrote the music it's uh it's documented on the um on the mod uh, credits, so please check out the mod, and kudos to whoever wrote the music. I'm sorry that I don't know who did it to give you a shout out here, but thank you for doing that. Okay, let's, uh, I'm going to Adrenaline so I can kill this guy at the start of the turn. Using the Goblin Pike for the extra accuracy. Let's taunt that guy in Dom. God damn it. <laughs> oh well. well yeah, we tried. <laughs> okay. Uh, gun. I guess I could finish him with the gun, but I do have some overwhelm. It'd be nice to put some overwhelms on the. Filers. But I don't. Yeah. Um, actually, I can use this guy as frenzy food for Gustav. Yeah. I, I like the sound of that, so I would point this this way. Some man catchers, which is scary. Um, luckily, with the current formation, they can't really get to me. If 
if I don't move into these guys. If I kill them at range, uh, the man catchers can't really get to me, which is ideal. Let's get that guy. This is a pro problem. Um, yeah, this cluster right here is a problem. Crow bake's a problem. That's what that's what the pole hammer call is called. Crow bake. See, drawers are. In, I mean, drawers are insane normally, but. Uh, Especially insane against these guys. They they have like 200, 200 Battle Forge. Or it's actually more than that. It's like 230, 240. They're using Fallen Hero armor on their body, which are like 242, 60. You know they have so you know they have a lot of armor, and being able to kill them with two javelins is just insane. Um, so yeah, throwers OP. If anyone hasn't figured that out yet. This is a problem. He has no defense, and this guy's gonna keep slamming him. I need to shuffle this positioning around. Um, okay. Anyone injured? No. Might want to set up this kill. Or spike. Start working these guys. Let's go for this one, maybe. Or this one. Yeah. You need, like, crippling to reliably injure these guys. They're kind of like chosen. Wait, with the banner. Haven't seen a boss. Oh, here he is. So far, he's done normal priest things and nothing particularly unique. He does seem to have some wicked armor, though. He's got Nimble Forge, which is really cool. I like it. Um, I wonder if I can kill this guy with a long axe for frenzy. The headshot might make it not so. Maybe I should have javelined this guy instead of throwing the axe because the javelins are just significantly better. Um, I don't know that I can kill this guy with a long axe if I hit him in the body. Should essentially be a waste of my turn because I know for sure I can kill him with the great axe. So instead I'll just... I guess play it safe and go for this guy. Man. Hit him in the head, so I would have I would have gotten the kill, but you never know. You can't know these things ahead of time. But it's extremely tempting to go hammer this guy. Um, yeah, why not? Gets me out of his AoE sweep. Puts me in the way nothing. This guy's taunted. If I start getting netted though, I'm going to be stuck out here and I don't, I really don't want that to happen. Uh, I can, if I get the kill, I can adrenaline and retreat. Actually, if I get the kill, I can just retreat because I have, I have preserve. Or no, I don't. I don't have reserve. Um, I don't know that this would kill. It did cool. Okay. Um, I have Hunt Hunter primed, and this guy doesn't have a hat, so that's beautiful. And then I'm going to need to prepare for these guys. Because the top flank is looking pretty good, but this is looking pretty scary. Um, here, maybe. Let's go 
there and wait and see if they move. Like so. Yeah, like <laughs> like so. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are we doing here? I don't want to move into this guy's range, so I'm going to not not do that. The problem with the man catchers is that they're nimble. You can't just like. It's like you don't want to ignore them, but they take too much time to kill. I'm not super concerned about these fanatics that are stuck on my tank. This guy, I will have to deal with at some point. As soon as I can start on him now. Um, so I'm dazed, which is extremely annoying. And that failing, failing to break free is extremely annoying. Uh, let's see. I need to. I need to get in front of Gustav. He has no defense, so I need to deal with this problem. And actually, I'm going. I don't like this guy on the hill, that sucks. This right here might be the most dangerous thing happening right now. Um, let's think. If I go here, I'm gonna be dazed so his output's gonna suck for another turn, even if position him right. I think if I go here and I move him here then I get I get sweeped by this guy on a hill. I think I'm gonna put the razor up here on the hill with this guy to oppose him. Which means I need somebody else standing in front of Gustav. Or here, and then I move Gustav over next turn. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown twice with him. I should have prepared for this maybe a little smarter. Um, we'll go here, I guess. Oh, well, the days were off. I didn't think it would. Did I miscount the turns? Or did it just only last one turn? I don't know. So this tank did a really bad job at tanking because everybody just kind of ignored him. And now he's staring at all these man catchers. Uh, let me do that. I actually like that a lot. Okay. This way, if he wants to come strike me, at least he has to move forward again. I guess he, that doesn't cost him any turns at all. But maybe his AI won't be interested in doing that. I don't know. We'll see. I can taunt, I can recover, I can recover. Ooh, I can do this. It leaves the front here exposed, but there's not really anything here except for man catchers. And I'm concerned about this, so I like I like this. And now my tank is actually doing his job. Although he's going to get netted, and I don't have a good way to deal with that, because Gustav has no melee skill. But one problem at a time. I guess with the way I positioned this, my banner doesn't have a play this turn. I could rotate Gustav, put the banner here instead, but then I'm not in range of Wallace, which I... Which I don't want to do. And I guess he has 90 base resolve or something, so maybe he'll be fine. I would very much like to get Gustav away from, from this, so... Sure. Sorry if I'm playing too slow for anyone's liking. Hopefully me trying to explain what I'm doing is somewhat interesting least. Okay, 
So I can adrenaline here and maybe go up to these guys and kill them next turn. That's gonna mess up my handgun arc though. Yeah, it will for sure. I could adrenaline and then go for this guy. I think these guys can... <laughs> I think these three guys can handle all this, maybe. It's kind of a lot for those three guys to handle. Four guys, I guess, count the rock. Decisions, decisions. Oh, here's the sacrifices if you're curious. They're mind controlled. And you could kill them if you want. It would stop the call, the prophet from doing his his prophet things. But I have a lot more pressing concerns to address. So if I don't adrenaline, I get netted here next turn, and then I spend the rest of my life freeing myself from nets and doing nothing. So I think I Adrenaline and then I go for this guy, so at least I can get in melee range of something. Yeah. 85. Kinda sucks. Oh, this wasn't in range of my handgun arc. I miscalculated that, so... Could have gone this way. Too late now, though. But oh, there's still more guys up there. <laughs> what are they doing? Why are they taking so long? God damn it. <laughs> Stop doing that. Okay, here come the man catchers doing their shit. I think this guy's bugged, to be honest. I. His, uh, his debuffs aren't affecting the whole party like they're supposed to. I've I've fought plenty of prophets before, and, and the, the debuffs always hit everybody. I don't know why it's only hitting Brock and nobody else. It's not a single target debuff. I've seen it hit the entire team from like across the whole map, so I don't know. I, I, I think he might be bugged. Um, which I guess is good for me, but should probably be fixed. Who is holding him? Cool, so if, so if I throw a javelin at this guy, the net should release, which is amazing. What was the hit on this, uh, this um, yeah, sling, sling throw? Because I'm curious. 34. It's higher than the other one was, but still pretty terrible. Like, the, the, the hunters are more annoying than they are threatening. Um, but being dazed here sucks because it makes my javelins kind of useless. Um, oh, I can't... Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, sorry. Lost track of who had who. Yep, so the net goes away, which is extremely good for... Us. I, I don't think my crossbow is loaded. I forgot. I'm going to assume it's not because it most likely isn't. So I primed Headhunter with that, so maybe I can sneak this kill in. I guess there's not really a better target except for this guy since I don't really have angle on anyone else. Nice. Got Berserk. See, if the if the prophet was working correctly, correctly and everyone was blinded, I would not have been able to make this throw because I would have only had two range. So this debuff is normally a big problem, a uh, big threat, and, and it's not hitting the team, which is making this battle a little easier than it should be. Um, go for 
that guy. So I'm dazed here, which makes me fairly useless, so maybe I should free from a net instead of trying to throw my javelins. Maybe throw my last axe instead. The armor ignoring damage when you're dazed is going to be really low. I mean, all the damage is going to be low. The javelin's still probably better than the axe, technically. I guess I didn't have to free the net. I could have just chucked a javelin at this guy. That would have had the same effect. That was maybe not the smartest of me. I'm just going to wait and see what happens. Here, I'd like to hit this guy to free this net. I have one javelin left. So, so I can throw the javelin here and then hope the axe hits this guy. Or I could throw the javelin here and then have an axe to spare in case I miss. But I have the banner. The banner can free the net if needed. So we'll do it like this. Sense to smack that guy. So, yep. Pretty scary. What's their hit chances looking like? 64. Wow, that's terrifying. Um, yeah, so these guys are, are a problem. And this guy being in a net is a problem. Who has him? This guy, I can't stop that. I think maybe it's time I move forward and I start uh, going for him for real. Or if I'm moving forward, I could hit this guy and free myself from the net. Maybe that's the play. I'd like to spend my turn like Indom or Taunt or something. Although if I move... Sorry. Sorry if I'm over-calculating. The Mancatcher isn't too much of a threat if I can kill the Defilers. for him anyway. So this guy's stuck in a 1v1 with Waleed. I'm not super afraid of that. Um, I'm more afraid of this. Maybe. I guess I'm kind of afraid of all of, all of it, <laughs> to be honest. Oh my god, the headshot. That's amazing. That is amazing. So, a little bit of bad luck in places, but that was very lucky to get that headshot. Even if this bill hook has plus head head chance, I think. No, it doesn't. That's just the regular 30, but still, that was really lucky. So now still I think I'll wait, let uh, Brock get an injury on, and then attack with Waleed, maybe. Because that'll uh give me the executioner bonus. Yeah. Which just happened, it went too fast. Took a shot somewhere. Oh, the bone plates. The bone plates took it. Okay. Let's uh, kill there. I don't know why these guys are so far behind. 
Doesn't seem like there was any enlightened fanatics. I guess that's the only enemy type missing. It's just the fanatic that has nimble. They have the red laser eyes, like the uh, frenzy mod that some people like. Um, maybe they have higher stats as well, but I, they, I don't, as far as I'm aware, the only difference is they have nimble, whereas the uh, the regular ones don't. Okay, so could go here and go for this guy, maybe. But I'm going to wait turn, let him swing first. I can um, taunt him, which I very much like, so he doesn't go for bowmans. Let's uh, go here. Fractured skull. Okay, I could ignore him. I guess. Actually, what I will. I can use him as frenzy food for Brock. And let uh, Waleed 1v1 this guy. Yeah, I like that. Okay, tanks doing their job. Uh, cover there. worth it. I don't know if it accomplishes anything. I think I won't. Okay, so I messed up my throwing arc by moving forward, so maybe that wasn't super smart. Do I have my quick hand still? Yeah, maybe I should just load the crossbow instead of wasting my time doing stuff with the dazed status. Although I'm still dazed, so maybe it didn't matter so much. Okay, let's, uh... That guy. Unfortunately, 95. Adrenaline there. God dang it. <laughs> uh, I got greedy. Maybe I should have just. Oh, it was a 99 roll anyway. I would have missed regardless of what I did. But, uh. Oh well. Let's see. So I can go like that, hit those three. Or like this, hit those four. Though there are less priority targets than these two here. Do I outspeed? I do. I think I'll go this way. These defilers are more threatening than, than this bunch. Okay, Prophet's moving in. So far he hasn't done anything particularly scary. In fact, he actually seems weaker than a normal prophet, which is unfortunate. Maybe I should have waited for the gun so I could use it to like free free people from nets. Maybe that's an intelligent play. And dazed again by the stone throwers. Who's got me? This guy? here and then poke them. My banner is not completely squishy so he can uh, maybe take some heat from these guys a little bit. Damn it. No luck there. We can at least freeze up some room maybe. So I'm dazed here now. How much is it to load a crossbow? 17, I think. 
it 15? No, it's 15 to load the crossbow. I think. I think I would know. I think I, you think I'd have this memorized by now. But I don't, so. 15, perfect. Or not perfect. <laughs> no. Uh, I, bl I blundered. What can you do? Except not be terrible sometimes. Alright, so I need to not free myself. No, I don't have to free myself. I can wait. plates doing their job. Uh, I don't really want to ignore this guy though. I guess ignoring him is more important than ignoring him. Actually surprised that that killed headshot again though. That's good. Go for a guy holding a net, right? This guy. I don't, I don't know if I want to waste my crossbow shot on that though. I only have enough fatigue for one move, so I might as well throw my axe at him. Now let's see here. Can uh, let's just wait. So this guy at the Fractured Skull has got 6% hit chances, so I guess I don't need to be concerned about him, like, like I figured. Okay, let's uh, probably wait with everybody to finish this. Let's taunt these guys. It's adrenaline. the crossbow again. I'm not dazed anymore so I can actually do something with my life. Let's go there and here so that this guy comes into this hole instead of doing something annoying like coming over here. I guess. Yeah, definitely bugged. He, he's only hitting Brock, and I don't know why. It's definitely a bug. Has to be a bug. Ragnar's in somewhat armor trouble. He does have nimble though, so it's not as bad as it looks. There's also not really that much danger around here anymore. Some more of this nonsense. Um, okay, let's go. Uh, I think I will wait so that I can. Um, Great X, this guy, and then have him have Hank available to shoot the man catcher back here to free the net. Let's finally kill that guy. It's been a long time coming. Maybe kill this guy. All right, it's looking good. Unless this prophet has some crazy tricks up his sleeve, it should be pretty good from here forward. There. Well, I guess I wasted one since he dropped the fling, and I didn't wait to see that happen. Oh well. Let's uh, wait there. Still 
little dazed, which is annoying. Got when you're in a man catcher net, it costs plus five action points to switch items. So I just wasted my turn because I assumed I had quick hands available, but uh, I forgot about this effect. So that sucks. And now I need to probably do this. Damn. <laughs> Punished. are clearing up though. Let's wait, because if I try to taunt this guy right now, he's gonna because he waited it'll it'll fail. Because it'll go away when he when his next turn comes around. So I'll wait and taunt him on the second pass. Okay. Guess we'll go for this guy instead. That works. Shoulder is helpful. I guess I can um, taunt these guys since I don't have anything better to do. Might as well. And let's taunt that guy. So the man catchers get a special move if they're holding somebody in their in the net the next turn. They can do a a stronger than normal full strike, full arm strike. Um, not that I'm super scared about that, but uh, taunting him anyway so that I don't get hit while I'm in a net is helpful. Is there any good firing arcs here that don't hit my own guys? Yeah. I guess I had this play to get rid of the net the whole time. Sorry, High Priest, but your days are numbered. Catchers are more resistant to my shenanigans than the uh, my cro like they're more resistant to the crossbone throwing than the um, the filers are because nimble. Okay, time to maybe finally kill these fanatics that I've been ignoring the entire battle. done. Unless there's some crazy tricks in store. Would not be Taro Eld's first time. Hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> to everyone who knows. Okay, I got one, one shot left. Let's, uh, Myself. How are there still guys up here? What, what is this madness? What have they been doing the whole battle that he's just now showing up here? That uh, 
I can't think of a logical reason that this guy is just now showing up. And these guys are running away, so that's great. Prophet is only holding a banner, so he's not very threatening. Unless he's got some like insane famed banner that I don't realize he has or something. He does have Nimble Forge, but uh, I don't know how much that's going to help him when he's all by himself. I can taunt him for good measure. If his armor regenerates like the dub claw armor, would be cool. Not that it will matter for him. <laughs> Cute. So much damage did we do? hit for 67 damage. I guess I, I don't know what his forge coefficient is, so I guess I can't really tell. It did like 25 to 33% of his armor or so, so he doesn't, it's, if I had to guess, it's 200 armor. 67, or maybe 200, 230, or something, somewhere around there. I wonder if he's going to drop it. It'll be interesting. That was very impressive. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, sorry. Try to speed this up. I guess I, I could end the battle, but I want the satisfaction of uh, killing this guy. The Nimble Forge will not save you now. Lives will not save you now. Okay, he's down. And we can end it. So cool. So, that's the fight. Uh, see what any loot here? So, he does drop the hat. 260 minus 8. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what? And it gives a resolve tendency. Insane. Absolute insanity. This helmet. 260 minus 15. <laughs> wow. This is some killer Nimble Forge armor. Like, the 23 penalty is 53% uh, Nimble. Off the top of my head, I believe. With a 260, 260 armor. It's insane. Completely insane. Not that it really matters because I'm, I'm done with the run probably with this. I'm kind of eager to start a new one. Um, but yeah, that was the battle. Very fun mod. Um, I won't do loop management on screen here. Um, but yeah, very fun mod. Thank you for Taro Eld again for creating it. Thank you for anyone who has watched this video. Hopefully you found it somewhat fun and enjoyable. Um, yeah, so thanks again, and uh, see you all next time.